So good afternoon. I just thought I'd give you a Monday update on how I'm doing. And this morning I did go and they wanted to do an ultrasound. And so they did that and that was to decide whether I had breast cancer or not or to help them decide. And so when I had it done and the girl was so nice. So anyway, when she did it, she also did under my arm on my uh, lymph nodes because they are so involved in whatever is happening. And then she said she would take everything and the doctor would look at it. So before I tell you what happened when the doctor looked at it, I want to tell you I don't know why, but on July 5th, I just felt better. I want you to know that. It's the first time I woke up and I wasn't in a river of sweat during the night. I would had to change my night clothes a couple of times because I was wet. But the sheets were not just soaking wet in the morning. I did get up and I took my shower and cleaned and then the same thing happened this morning. I, I didn't wake up to that river of water. So I just felt like, and then even one day I felt good enough, I went outside. I went in my garden. I saw the chickens and, and uh, that day I remember I didn't have to take any meds until about 9 o'clock at night and then I, I did have to take one. I went to sleep and I don't know about your part of the world, uh, of the USA, but the 4th of July is a big deal here and for about a week before the 4th they have to practice with their bombs. And it just sends Maggie up a wall. So, and then about a week afterwards, they have to use up all the leftovers they have. And so, we haven't had a night in quite a while that the dog just doesn't go to pieces. And so, I've never quite had a whole night where I could just sleep because Maggie comes to me for help. I may not hear the bomb, but I do hear Maggie. And so I'm sort of hoping tonight they've got it all used up. But anyway, back to the story. So the doctor comes back in and I have had two biopsies this morning uh, on my breast and under my arm to the lymph node. And I am so praising the Lord because so far I haven't had the pain that they talked about might come afterwards. And it may come, but it hasn't yet. And so I still have that great peace that I'm good, good hands, whatever happens. So later on in this week, I get to share with you what these biopsies will tell me. And they said these biopsies would be a lot easier than grinding through into my, one of my ribs and just grinding and <laughs> getting a, a piece of rib out. And, and I'm actually, I had decided July 5th, the morning I felt better, that I was not going to have a bone biopsy. They could just figure out another way. I wanted to wait until all the blood tests came back, until I had this uh, ultrasound this morning, and when they did these, they said these would tell them what they really need to know, and they wouldn't have to do that bone biopsy, and it was a lot less invasive and a lot easier to get over. 
for one thing, the only side I can lay on now is this side, and this is the side that they would take the, the biopsy from the rib out. And so I, I just think it turned out quite well, and I just wanted to share with you where I am at. It may not be well with my body, but it's well with my soul.